like, they could girl jump out in front of you. I said, how'd you know? Did you see her too? <laughs> You are nuts. <laughs> I said you got like a six inch bacon strip. <laughs> Bacons? Yeah, we call him Bacon Strip. He laughs all the time. Ha ah, ah, ha! You remember that time? That was funny! <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not that funny. Shake yourself. <laughs> well, you know, when you get to be my age, you squeak the odd one out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Let's get at her. Day four, just leaving the sled den now. Best place I've ever stayed at, hands down. Bye, Eve. Thank you so much. Amazing meeting you. We had a blast. <laughs> We're always rolling. <laughs> did you get a carabiner? Yes, you did. Yeah, I got one. I'm going to have to come back. I can only make one trip here. Let me get the door for you. Thanks. Whew. Beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky again today. There's our lineup of 900 Rs. All right, well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to day four, Gaspeasy. Just got on the main trail here after leaving the sled den and it's fresh groomed, perfect. Set up overnight, feels great. Oh, lots to talk about uh, this morning. Firstly, if you ever get to uh, this area, you need to go to the sled den. It's probably the coolest place and the best place I've ever stayed. Eve and Jack are awesome. And uh, Ryan's super cool, their son. Hardcore sledders. They built this place apparently like 12 years ago. They came out here once and uh, Jack wanted to immediately get a place out here. So they moved up from Montreal. Really incredible people. And holy cow, do they put a stay together for us. They actually went out, got us a case of beer, a couple of uh, bottles of rye. So when we got in from our ride, we could all settle in with a couple of drinks. And then they uh, made a nice steak dinner. They had 12 steaks for everybody. And uh, just an, a, an amazing, amazing meal last night together. We had a hard ride of about uh, just over 200K. And again, it's not like super long, big miles, but it was uh, a lot of tight and twisty stuff and you're riding through the mountains. So, you know, you're, you're going at, at not a crazy, crazy fast pace, but uh, it's a bit of a workout. So everybody was, uh, you know, pretty happy to get in there. And we had a, a beautiful, beautiful stay at the sled den. I can't say enough good things about this place. It's amazing. Already getting into some beautiful scenery here. I'll tell you, yesterday was just a phenomenal day of running. It was so good. So we picked up some merchandise on the way out this morning too, and they're gonna ship it back home for us because we don't really have any room, but uh, man, what a ride, what an area. Absolutely incredible. Definitely the best I've ever had for sure. And again, I was expecting that. I mean, everybody's sort of been talking up Gas Bay forever. And it's, uh, it's certainly living up to the hype. I was even talking to Chris yesterday. Like I totally get it. Some guys will do, you know, like three trips a year and they'll just come out here 
do the gas pay for five days, seven days, nine days, go home, not even ride, and then just book another trip. And so they'll do like one trip a month throughout the uh, the winter, put on you know six, seven, eight thousand k, and and that's that's your season. Totally see it. Really climbing up the mountain here, you can see. Probably some incredible views up here. Oh, wow. Unreal. Just awesome. Good, good. So we're going to be doing a bunch of stops today once we, uh, we're going to hit a couple of the lookout spots, get some pictures. And again, this has been a great trip because it's just been like a, a full on tour. I mean, these guys know the area so well and they know where to stop. So we got Ivan leading here in front of me. And uh, man, look at all the snow in here. It's just crazy. Even though it's low snow, it's still tons of snow. Most snow I've seen all season. Just got an incredible group. These guys are so, so much fun. Laughs all night long. And uh, just a really passionate group of uh, sledders. And I tell you, these guys put more miles on than anybody I know. So apparently there's a lookout here that uh, the guys want to check out, so we're going to go see it. Pretty sweet. Holy shit. Oh my god. That's crazy. Wow. Whew. Okay, that's nice. Wow. That is amazing. Yeah. Look at the top of the hill over there. I see it. That's it. Yeah, I see the, the pad up there. Yeah, that's it. That's where we were. But honestly, when you see this. It's basically the same idea. Yeah. I mean, you'll see it the other way. But the only thing about that one is that you see more up the valley. But this is nice. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Wow. Will you take a pic of me on there? Amazing. Thanks so much. What do you think, dude? I'm, my mind is blown. Crazy. Coming next year? Yeah. Next week. February 1st next year? Yes. Look out there, the ocean. Oh my goodness, just gorgeous. How do you beat this? So we're just gonna head into Mont Saint Pierre. Uh, that's basically the closest spot to get gas. Now I, I do have a full Jerry, but not everybody's carrying Jerry's here. So we're just uh, doing a quick rip into Mont Saint Pierre. We'll fuel up and then we're gonna come back up this mountain. And then there's uh, the lookout that some of the boys were at yesterday. I think we're all going to go there today. It's like a big platform off the five here. We'll check that out. Show, hopefully show you guys some views from up there. And then uh, we're going to make our way. Oh, <laughs> wow. down the mountain this is that ski do feeling 100% there's Chris up ahead there liquid Larry behind him and then me liquid so now we're just in uh, Mont Saint Pierre now and we are 
are going to find a Cremier station, I believe, somewhere here. Five clicks, maybe, or 0.5 clicks. Nice view of the water there, beautiful. Are you sun tanning? <laughs> oh, jeez. Did you see that corner there? Team Vincent's guys must have went all in the bush. Every one of them back there. Back there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's like six of them went in the bush. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Back just around here, around the corner, must have been the Team Vincent guys. There was two of them. Oh, yeah, well, they went in the bush. Oh, yeah. They got two of them, I guarantee. Oh, well, that was hard there? Yeah, do you know him? Who's that? Yeah, but well, that's yeah, that's my dealership. But who who was it? Uh, he didn't say his name. He, what kind of sled was it? Oh, Team Vincent. I don't know. Who knows. Older guy. Older guy. Yeah. About my height, thin. Nice guy. I wonder who the it other was. Guy is from Ottawa that he's riding with. From Ottawa. There he goes by. I was standing there, I'm kicking the snow down. I'm like, look at him there. <laughs> he parked up the hill and then to walk about. It was just him. He's like, they could girl jump out in front of you. I said, how'd you know? Like, Did you see her too? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, I have no idea. I come around the corner, everything's fine. I was like, ah, like, oh, fuck. <laughs> right into a tree. Like, oh, geez. Really nice section of trail. I think we're up on top of one of the mountains. It's kind of a, a quick section through the back there, and then uh, it kind of comes into these trees, but you can see the low level clouds on the right. Here, this might give a better view with the water down there. Just incredible. Views for miles like you've never seen. Oh, here we go, check this out. We'll do a little lookout stop here. Wow. Awesome. That's nice. Snap nuts? What do you need? I'll show uh, these guys your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you only buy good nuts. <laughs> I believe that. What are you doing now, buddy? Showing Bola. No, his nuts. Yeah, showing him my nuts. <laughs> I've been grabbing my nuts. <laughs> oh, there is. That was another set. <laughs> <laughs> Those ones are sore. Those ones are sore. We took a pound in last night. Very yeah. good nuts. <laughs> they're three dollars <laughs> each, though the nuts. Oh, fuck. Yeah, but they're awesome. Well, they're like three. <laughs> yeah. They're uh, machine. They're what a machined aircraft aluminum or something. Aircraft aluminum. We already pulled the stud already. Oh wow. Already. It's all, the washer and nut is all one. Yeah, they will, yes. You'll yeah. get them. We just have to figure out how. Only the best at Ledger Performance. Oh, it's hard to see the view when you got your face in the phone. Well, I got, I already I took my picks. I just, it's, when I get signal, I can do quick, like, quick posts and stuff, so. But, uh, it's pretty incredible. Yes, it is. There's Ivan. Wicked dude from Collingwood, owns a martial arts studio in Collingwood, Ontario. Great guy. Had a bunch of laughs with him this week, uh, this week, this past week. I've had a bunch of laughs with him this week. And Bola is behind me. Our MCX buddy from Norway. Bola. Otherwise known as Ovid. <laughs> Bola is his nickname. Hell of a day today. Uh, been great riding. We've only done, I don't know, about 100k. Not even just uh, just under 100k so far. Just winding it out through the mountains here. And the goal is to get to Matane today. 
had a weird issue yesterday at one point during the day we kind of stopped for some picks and uh, the boys took off and I went to go and then all I heard was like grinding and I got a little nervous and then Leggy came back to get me uh, with the guys after they realized I wasn't there or actually Ivan went off and grabbed them and uh, came back and it was weird my chain was like super loose for some reason I've never seen it happen or stretch like that so uh, we kind of took it slow to get uh, about another 15k until we actually got to the sled den and we had a bunch of drinks we had dinner and then Chris and I went into the uh, into the garage to kind of take a look at it and it just ended up being that the chain had gotten like super stretched and loose We thought it was something way worse, but it wasn't. We ended up just tightening her back up, put the pin through, hold it in place, adjusted, and away she went. Never seen that happen before, but I'm, I'm assuming just probably because yesterday was like the first real day where I've ran this thing very hard with, uh, you know, I was really pushing yesterday, pushing a lot of snow with this 210 kit, so it might have had something to do with it. Or, I also may have just been a dummy and probably didn't set it properly before we left. So who knows. Anyway, she's good to go. I'll tell you guys, if you want a little more power, I should say a lot more power. It's not a little. It's a lot more power. <laughs> Definitely take a look at this MCX stuff. It's, uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty amazing bulletproof kit. Chris ran it all year last year and I told him, I said, I'm not doing anything unless it's 100% reliable because I don't want breakdowns, I don't want issues. And it's been working really well for me. I love it. And I think he's got about 20 to 30 clients this year that have installed it and they're, everybody's loving them. Absolutely incredible. And the boys are being really good to us too, you know, everybody's kind of taking it all in and no rush whatsoever. It's, it's really all about enjoying the ride and enjoying the scenery out here. One of the things we were talking a little bit about yesterday, it's not all like top end speed for me, like it's really not what I care about. The power in this thing and, and the responsiveness and the throttle after you put this kit in is like night and day. It's everything that I... Jesse and I have honestly been complaining about with the 900Rs that they just were so used to snappy two strokes. And this is like a whole different ball game. It takes all that away and it's just pulls and pulls and pulls and it's instant. And we're winding down again. Probably the nicest part of the trip so far I and mean, this is absolutely unreal yeah Chris was saying that today we would definitely be running all along the water it's exactly what we're doing this five kind of runs all beside the ocean it's too bad it took me so long to do it kind of regret it super happy I'm here but just wish I wouldn't have waited all the years to do it because look what I've missed out on just getting ready to roll into lunch here been a good day so far 160k another 100 to go before we get to our destination in uh, Matain there's a little restaurant kind of bar up here and we're gonna hang out we're supposed to uh, connect it back up again with Pilkey and Mr. Tate so we should be running into them shortly we'll all sit down and relax for an hour or so have a bite and then get out of here. All the fellas just rolling in for lunch. Look at that lineup, love it. Nothing beats it, nothing beats it. It's a good day. Don't screw up the formation there, Bean. Nice morning ride. Yeah, nice day. Beautiful day. Some more snow. Yeah, Thanks. how are we doing over here? Oh no, it says right there, Uvert. Does that mean open? Doesn't it? 
I might know. be totally wrong. Where's the Frenchman? <laughs> the Frenchman is somewhere. What's going on over here? Nothing. Restaurant's closed. Oh boy. Going on a trail for 20 21 kilometers, we're going to go to Cap Chat. Cap Chat? Yeah, I've been there before. Uh, okay. Well, small, small little fishing village. Nice. It's got gas and everything there. Beautiful. Yeah. What a day. Yeah, we advertise this restaurant everywhere, but yeah, it's not open. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand a Wednesday. Fucking not open. But I guess if they're only getting a group of So it, kids, it's funny, know. Curb said to me yeah. that everywhere here they're having trouble with staffing. Yeah. For some reason, for all these places. <laughs> hey, they think the same thing about Norwegians. Yeah. <laughs> Norway, everything is open at least. Everything is fucking closed. Museum, restaurant. Wow, because they can't get people to work. That's it. They can't get people to work there. Nobody wants to work here. Everybody just wants the snowmobile. Because the government just pays their way. You have to work, son. How hard could it be? I agree. <laughs> you, you have a restaurant. Why don't you work? Then? You tell them you're going to be the new f mayor. Bola! Yeah, everybody go bola! Bola for mayor. I would run. The restaurants will stay open on Wednesday. <laughs> All right, well, we just had a bit of a change in plan. The last restaurant that we went to wasn't actually open. And again, that seems to be kind of a theme for this trip. A lot of places we've been to, they, they aren't open because they don't have staff, which is like a massive issue here, apparently. And Kirby was actually telling me that yesterday or the day before. He was saying like a lot of the places, they're just not able to get staff to work and they're not open. So the new plan was to just keep heading uh, about another 20k up and we're just coming in right now to cap chat jeff knows where he's going i hope so who's leading i'm gonna let it, grumpy pants lead <laughs> grumpy pants see how soft that is now is that uh, in uh they need to be rebuilt they're fucked <laughs> already my guy that builds my shocks all the time said these smart shocks, 1,015, yeah, 100K, they're fucked. Toast. All right, well, we're just leaving Cap Chat. We kind of changed up the plan just because the last place that we uh, intended to stop for lunch was actually uh, closed. So we, just a quick one here, got gas and then uh, we ate some, actually, they had really good pizza in the gas station. It was great. Right, back on the trail been a phenomenal day of riding really really enjoyed today and again we really lucked out with the weather too because if you get blue skies on this trip the views are spectacular and and honestly it's it's like nothing I've ever seen so we're gonna uh, we've got about 106 K to go the other guys actually ended up just uh, trekking along so um, JT and Pilkey are, I think they were like 20 minutes outside of Matane. So we're going to continue making our way there. It's about 106K, I think, to get up to Matane. And I'm honestly not sure what the plan is for tonight, but I think these guys have it all sorted out much easier when you're just tagging along and you don't have to do any of the planning so we'll see uh, we'll see where we end up this is a pretty fun trail definitely a quick one you can see some mountains in behind there in the distance oh my goodness the power is just insane you can reel these guys in like it's nothing I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets I'll die Oh man, these trails are awesome This section here on 5 Woohoo! 
It's friggin' unreal. Perfectly flat, super wide highways. Rock and roll. Ton of fun. You can see all the boys in front of me. And I'm sure everybody's smiling ear to ear on this section of trail. We just put on probably 50k pretty quickly. I think we've got another 60 to go, maybe. And it's a pretty straight shot. Like this this section here, I think all the way to Matain is uh, it's pretty flat. Big lot, big uh, wide logging road. Really super fun, super quick. All right, well, welcome to Matane. We just uh, filled up. We're gonna make our way to the hotel. Pretty awesome day of riding. It's gonna be a little dicey here through town, so we'll see how this goes. Really, there's no snow in town, which is sort of unusual. But, wicked day of riding, and definitely uh, the best one yet. It just gets better and better every day is really, really been uh, been awesome so about uh, 300 kilometers again today again mostly on that five main trail all the way from uh, the sled den up to Matane and that's where we're going to uh, shack up for tonight pretty wicked day of riding some fantastic views some great guys here good food and that's what it's all about down here right on the water which is absolutely beautiful just destroying the carbides nice view of the water wow that's beautiful man that's awesome definitely shitty because there's no snow in town but it's all wind blown out not much you can do gonna get there Ooh. Chris is gonna be replacing uh, carbide studs everything again you name it <laughs> yeah this is pretty junky but listen snow machines can go anywhere anywhere just gotta watch your temps and crap like this that's all and I think this is the hotel anyway so we good whoa that's a bit sketchy germs hope you guys enjoyed the day we are here we have arrived thanks for riding along we'll see you guys tomorrow was that a good day shoots what? was that a good day, good day buddy. <laughs>